marhaba. Today I'm cooking for you the typical Moroccan dish that is called tagine. There are three types of the tagine. So one is of the fish, second one is of the chicken and vegetables and another one is of the meat. And here we are having the ingredients uh, for today's tagine. Today I want to make the easiest one for you that you can cook it at home with no problem. So we are having here onion. meat, tomatoes and parsley, olives, dried plum and raisins, here there's like a saffron, olive oil and the spices, that's salt, curcuma, pepper, this is ginger, sweet pepper, uh, no, this is sweet paprika, this is uh, cumin, and this is garlic. And now let's start because the tajin is already very hot. So first we need to add the onions. Yeah. Then I'm adding the meat. The next one are the spices. So I'm adding a little bit of each spice. And the rest is like half teaspoon of each one. Now, all of the garlic. Okay. In the end, I'm going to add the saffron. There is something left, so we need to taste it. Close it and let it cook for a while. So we let the tagine to be cooked for a while. Now I need to turn uh, the meat upside down. It needs to be cooked from both sides, obviously. Okay, and again, we need to leave it for a minute or so. So, the final part. Now, now, I'm going to add the tomato. Uh, the tomato is cut and we remove the inside of the tomato. So, yeah. And now I'm going to add parsley. And now I'm going to add a little bit, just a pinch of salt. And now the final part is decoration. I'm going to decorate the tagine with oil, uh, olives and with raisins and 
uh, it's tr and dried plum. So I'm going to put just some of them into the tagging, not to make it too crowded. Okay. And now the raisins, also just a little bit. And the final part is the dried plum. It's like the final decoration. Yeah, so it looks very beautiful. And in the end, the olive oil, like two circles. Perfect. So that's the almost final version of the tagine. We need to let it cook for a bit and then we can try. Now we are going to leave it for 45 minutes uh, to let it cook. So see you in a while. Okay, so from time to time you need to check the tagine if it needs water. Now it doesn't need any water, uh, but it's different when you cook it in the gas in the kitchen at home, then it's going to need a lot of water. So you need to check it pretty frequently and then add tiny bits of water that it doesn't dry. It's different with the canoe. your water with the tagine and now it's a taste test we will see if it's yummy i hope it is yummy so we are eating a uh, tagine with the piece of bread you have it in your hand you are like taking the vegetables and meat with this piece and then you eat it. It's perfect. Very good. I'm very hungry. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going to finish eating and Please subscribe and like because it really supports my channel. Stay tuned and see you very soon. Bye!